Do you want to know how you can win this incredible 1-4 scale The Dark Knight Batman from Hot Toys? Find out next. Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris. I'm the Batman statue collector right here on YouTube, and it is a rare day that we have hot toys in the Batcave, but today we do. And man, oh man, this is an incredible, incredible set. It's almost like a diorama set from Hot Toys. This is, of course, the Batman, the Dark Knight, but this is a quarter scale version, and it's absolutely incredible. And we are going to be giving it away all thanks to Marcos. And stay tuned to the channel because I'm going to tell you exactly how you have a chance to win this because Marcos is going to be giving it away to one of you. So stay tuned. We are going to be unboxing and reviewing this guy. I cannot wait. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. And I'll also give you the information on how to win. All right, first of all, let's check out the box. So it's very, very cool. Obviously, it is uh, Batman QS019. This is the 1-4 scale collectible figure. Again, Hot Toys. Um, again, part of their 1-4 scale line, which is very cool. And the box is awesome. Um, otherwise, it's just a brown shipper. But let's go ahead and tear into it. Um, I've been told that it doesn't actually have like a true, true inner box. It just has like the sleeve. So the sleeve is very cool. Obviously, it's got kind of like the Dark Knight pattern, um, which is cool. And it's got the, the logo there, Hot Toys. But yeah, this is just uh, this just comes up, a little piece of cardboard. And then, of course, we've got the foam inside. And let's see what we all have in here. So obviously, um, we've got Batman again. This is quarter scale. So that's very, very cool. We also have the, uh, the Bruce Wayne portrait right there, which looks incredible, by the way. And then also an uh, extra cowl. I have to check that out. Obviously, the different hands. Um, and then the different um, face sculpts there, which is very cool. Let me kind of pull that out. So that'll be neat. Man, that looks just like Bale to me. That's really good. Okay, so that is the upper tray. And then there's also, I believe, a second tray. Let me pull that out for you guys. And yeah, let's see what we got in here. So we've got obviously some of the uh, the bat gadgets here as well. And uh, what is this? Oh, we even got the uh, the bust. That's really I forgot about the bust. That's really cool. Uh, some instructions, and then obviously the uh, the display, the top of the building display where you can actually display them on. So that's really cool. So um, basically, that is what you get uh, with the uh, the box itself. Again, this is quarter scale, so you can see with the size of my hand, it's going to be the size of like a premium format, um, which is awesome. And so I'm going to get him all set up, and so we can review him and check him out. Pardon the interruption, but as promised, I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to do for your chance to win. We are giving away one of these, and again, it's all thanks to Marcos at Collector Zone. And number one, you just simply have to be a subscriber to the Batman Statue Collector channel. I know so many of you already are, but if you're not, this is your opportunity. Hit that red subscribe button down below. The second thing that you have to do is you have to go over on Facebook, and you have to be a member of Batman Statue Collector Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles on Facebook and also the Collector Zone Cantina on Facebook. Again, Collector Zone Cantina on Facebook. You need to join and be a member there as well. And so that is all you have to do, guys. It's going to be plain and simple. You have to be a member of the Cantina, the Brotherhood of the Bat, and then also subscribe right here on this channel in order for your chance to win. We are going to be giving it away live on a future Rogues Gallery Live when we reach 43K right here on YouTube. So make sure you do those three things and let's get on to it. All right, guys, let's start with the base. And the base is really awesome. It's a lot bigger than I was expecting. Um, very, very cool. Uh, let me kind of show you the size of it with my hand. Um, so it's a pretty sizable piece, really. Uh, it is, you know, plastic, obviously, but it's the top of the building, which is great. It's got some really nice detail there, as you can see. I do apologize for the shadows in the room, guys. Uh, but it's got some nice patina, as you can see, as well, with that little bit of blue area. This is what's really cool. Behind it, it's got the characters from the other movies. This is from Batman Begins, obviously, uh, Ra's al Ghul, which is great. It's got the Heath Ledger Joker. It's even got their uh, card symbol there. But that's a really great sculpt. And then, of course, you have Bane on the, on the back as well. The only one that there isn't is Scarecrow. I wish they had incorporated a Scarecrow as well. But it's really cool that they have 
um, all three of the characters kind of hidden back here. And again, the detail is really quite superb. And again, the color, the paint application on it is nice. Um, it even has the Batman logo on the top with the, uh, the cracks and things like that. So it definitely feels kind of old Gotham, which is great. Um, I just think that's really a nice touch to start this off. I'm already really, really impressed with this um, so far. But uh, anyway, let's get to some of the figure stuff. All right, let's start with this. I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely incredible. This is a quarter scale head sculpt of Christian Bale. Um, I think it's really, really good. Um, obviously, there's been, you know, some subjective, uh, you know, people over the years that have said, you know, which is the true uh, Christian Bale portrait, which is the true likeness. Sometimes he looks kind of like George Bush a little bit. Um, but I think this is very, very good overall. I'm very impressed with the skin texture. The paint application looks really great. And I just think that's awesome. That is just really, really awesome. Again, I just am blown away by how good it is. The eyes are shiny. It has a really nice likeness. It's definitely a little bit younger, Christian Bale. But I think they did a really nice job capturing the likeness of him. And then also it does come with a cowl as well. And this is a sonar cowl. Um, so there's a little button underneath. You can turn it on and off. And of course, you can put the different uh, facial expressions in that as well. So if you want to have the sonar, um, you can do that as well. So that's really cool. And then like I mentioned before, uh, it does have the different uh, mouthpieces, which is great. And also uh, a little bit of the, uh, the, the costume itself, which is great too. So I'll put all those on the figure once I get the figure out. But I did want to show you these two because uh, I thought those were really impressive. Next up, we have the belt, and the belt does uh, come separately with this. I mean, it's not on the figure, so you have to put it on yourself. Um, but again, it looks very movie accurate to me. I feel like the colors are really right. I used to have a replica belt uh, that was life-size, and it looks identical to me. Um, again, just really great detail throughout. Um, it's got like a padding on the inside, probably to protect the figure a little bit. But that looks great as well. So let's keep going. Um, it did also have a compartment uh, with this. Um, this is the cape. Um, and so because this is a giveaway, I am not going to open this up. So I'm just going to show you the figure without it, but hopefully you get the idea. But I wanted that to be an experience for the collector that actually wins this. So it does have the cape there. And then it has this big tray um, of all sorts of things. So you have all of the weapons, which is really great. Uh, the batarangs and things like that. Um, you have the grapple gun. You've got the sticky gun. Um, all of those things. And then, of course, you have um, some of them. I don't know what that is. Oh, those are batteries. That's batteries for the, uh, for the um, portrait. And you also have the stand and the bust itself. So I'm going to take this apart and uh, show you what's inside here. So this is the, uh, the bust. Um, and this is plastic. Okay, and you'll be able to put um, you know, the, the sculpt in or whatever you want to do to display the, the sculpt next to it. Um, so that's really cool, but it's got really great details, I think. Um, but it is plastic, kind of lightweight. So we'll set that off to the side. It's also got the, all the, you know, the, the weapons. There's the grapple gun. Uh, what else do we have in here that I can take out? Oh, we also have the, uh, the backpack for when he goes to Hong Kong. So that's really cool. Again, this is probably what I'll put on um, because I don't want to take the cape out. Um, again, it's got the sticky gun here. grab it <laughs> so we've got the sticky gun this is uh, actually this is not the sticky gun this is the uh, EMP which is awesome that looks great there's the sticky gun so you can take that and put that apart um, again all of the, uh, the the small things here which again are really great they got the, uh, the sticky bomb the mind bomb that's really cool it's like you know so much attention to detail this thing, I'm not sure. I think this has something to do with the uh, the bust. To check that out. Uh, again, it's got all the batteries. So that's really nice in itself. And what is this here? Oh, this is some of those uh, extra joints for the wrist, I believe. All right, so that gives you kind of an idea of some of the accessories that we have going on here. And uh, let's go ahead and get into the uh, the full figure itself now. All right, guys, so here he is right out of the box, and look at that. Very, very good likeness. 
I'm very, very impressed overall. Um, he is big. Again, he's quarter scale. And this is, again, just out of the box, what he looks like. No posing yet. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to posing hot toys. Uh, that's why I stick with the statues. <laughs> I keep it simple. But uh, I do applaud everyone that uh, does such a great job with these. Uh, obviously, I did put the belt on. So it's got like a little snap that goes off the back. And you just put it on. Um, again, really great detail on the figure itself. Uh, let me get a little tighter in here for you guys. Um, so you guys can see the detail on the armor. Uh, the chest looks correct to me. Sometimes it looks a little bit bulky, but I feel like this looks pretty good. I feel like the shoulder pads are pretty good. They're narrow. Um, again, I'm not an expert on the suit, but I do feel like it's uh, very, very close, if not uh, you know, very, very accurate to me. Uh, the detail on the gloves. Uh, again, this is all kind of these, this faux leather, which looks great. And then, of course, you do have uh, the portrait itself. Um, it is magnetized on the head. Um, it looks like it's got where you can change the eye position on it. So that's really cool. And then obviously we can also change the um, the uh, the mouth plates, but you can obviously, um, you know, move him around however you want to pose him. Again, it is all magnetized. So I love that. Um, let's look at the back side of him. He's really quite heavy um, for, you know, again, it's a really solid figure. All of that looks really accurate to me, really great. I, I think that this nailed it. It's really awesome, the shoes, the detail there. And again, it uh, does have, you know, a, a stick where you can put on the top, so I'll put that on top for the uh, display, uh, display stand. But uh, let me show you some of the other mouth portraits. All right, here is the second option for portrait. That one's okay, it's not my favorite. I like the uh, the one I showed you just a minute ago. So that, but it, I mean, the skin looks incredible. Really, really awesome. Speaking of that, I did put the uh, the portrait on the stand, so that's really cool as well. I think it just looks awesome. I'll put I'll put that on the the figure itself too. So that's portrait number two, and portrait number three. I like this one way better than number two. Um, I feel like, you know, a lot of times Bale had to kind of breathe through his mouth uh, because of the cowl. And so I do feel like this is, you know, kind of him mouth breathing a little bit. Um, but I do feel like it's pretty darn accurate to him. I think it looks like him. So very, very cool. So that's kind of what that looks like. Let me go ahead and show you uh, with the uh, unmasked portrait. And so here he is with the unmasked. That just looks so great. Again, I don't have him posed at all, but it gives you an idea of what that looks like. Again, really impressive. And again, there's so many different you know options again for weapons and things like that. That you can really do so much with this. Just really awesome. Show you a couple more things. So I put the backpack on him. So again, that's really cool. Uh, again, it just goes over his shoulders. So that's awesome. And then I also wanted to show you uh, whenever I swapped out the, the bust. So again, you could put any mouth on there, um, which is great, and kind of pose it. You can have him looking off to the side if you want. Again, it's all magnetic uh, because uh, this particular piece that uh, was in the figure, you take that out, put it in the bust, and then again, just stick on the magnet however you want it to be, which is very, very cool. Absolutely love that. So anyway, uh, I'm going to take him and try to put him up here and see how that goes. And I'll show you what it looks like on top of the uh, gargoyle itself. So when you get ready to put him on the stand, this little piece right here pops out. And there's another piece that pops out in the back. Um, so it's just, you know, part of the stone, um, which is cool. And you can put the, uh, the stand in that one or the one in the front. Um, and then once you put it in, there's a little kind of a, a, a cap that goes on the bottom. This whole top piece pops off. And then it's got a little holder where you can adjust the height um, and kind of, you know, make it, make it sure that he's standing okay. And that's what you get. I mean, you get the entire, uh, entire um, base with the stand. Again, let me kind of show you, like, there's my hand. So it's a true quarter scale. It's really quite impressive how big it is. Um, 
And again, I wish I had the cape on it because it would really look more that giant dynamic, obviously. But again, that looks great. Obviously, he looks great with the bust. I love that it's got the extra bust. Um, this is that sonar. I did put one of the, the portraits on there. So just to kind of show you what that looks like. Um, and then again, you know, we could go on and on about all the different weapon swap outs. There's different hands as well that I haven't shown you yet. Um, but obviously, you know, you can pose however you want. Um, it's fully articulated. Um, very, very cool. So again, there's so much you can do with the posability. Again, I'm very limited with uh, my experience on posing, but obviously you can do a million different things uh, with all the different weapons and things like that. Um, again, it's, uh, you know, just all, all available to you here. Um, again, I don't want to take it all out because uh, it is going to another collector. But uh, again, just how great is that? And it's just so cool, especially like, again, when you add the cape, flowing down along the base just absolutely absolutely incredible all right guys so there you have it again a very very cool look and it's all thanks again to marcos at collector zone thank you again for making this review possible uh, again i am going to be giving this away and so is marcos and so make sure that you are subscribed to this channel make sure that you are a member of the facebook group and also the collector zone cantina on facebook if you are a member there member here you have a chance to win on a future Rogues Gallery Live. When we get to 43K, guys, I'm going to be giving this away. So the sooner we get there, the sooner I'm going to be giving it to one of you. I cannot wait. Again, Hot Toys is incredible. It's very, very cool. It's very rare to see some Hot Toys, especially quarter scales. I think this might be my very first quarter scale Hot Toys ever in the back cave. And so it's very, very exciting to see something like this on display here. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, I'm not a normal Hot Toys reviewer, so hopefully I did it somewhat of justice. But again, can't wait to give this away. Uh, again, please uh, leave your comments down below. Otherwise, thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you right here in the Batcave. Can't wait to give this away. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.